I think from a from a consumption perspective, we are actually seeing uh, markets in North America and in Europe that have been surprisingly resilient. We've seen a lot of increases in interest rates by the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank, and despite this, employment markets have been holding uh, very strong, and consumption has been holding out pretty good. On the other side, what we're seeing on the on the shipping side, so so what we're moving to feed these cons consumer markets, we're seeing there a subdued demand, and and the reason for that is that following the two years of COVID, with a lot of over orders, a lot of consumers, a lot of companies have found themselves with very high inventory, and are at this stage really running them down uh, and under ordering while they find their new balance for this uh, this new economy. And when do you think we're going to see that new balance? So we, we start to see some companies starting to order more and having kind of run through that phase. Others not yet. So we expect a transition here in the course of the second quarter and a, and a third quarter that would be a bit stronger with the normalization of volumes. And how does the China reopening factor in? When do you think if there's going to be a pickup? So f from, a, f from a production perspective, we're really... Uh, have a lot of admiration for the resilience of, of the, the manufacturing capacity in China throughout the, the COVID ordeal. So I think there is no real rebound that we expect to come here just because they have been able to keep uh, such a strong uh, manufacturing, uh, such a strong production throughout. On the, on the consumer markets, uh, China as a consumer market, we have yet to see really the full rebound. There's a lot of pent up uh, savings after two years or three years without uh, the ability to travel and engage in the experience economy as much as, as normal. But we've not yet seen really the, the Chinese consumer dig into those uh, pent up savings and, and splurge the way that we have seen maybe in the US or in Europe as we came out of COVID. So when's your best bet? when we might see a significant pickup in consumer demand in China? I think it's going to come gradually. Uh, it, this is still a very new phenomenon after a long uh, period of, uh, of isolation. So, so people are finding their groove and finding their, their new habits in this new life uh, slowly. So we expect also here in the second part of the year to see an improvement uh, of, of the, the, the economy, the, the general consumer sentiment in, uh, in China. So you don't really sound too worried about a global recession. Is there anything that you think could, could tip the economy into a recession? Oh, one thing that I've learned in the, in the last two years is that you have to stay really humble with respect to what you think you know and what you think uh, and, and what you might not know. There has been so many things that have come and tipped uh, things in ways that we did not see them uh, before. That is cert certainly something that where you have to stay really humble. But for now, at least what we have seen is the impressive resilience of the economies, both in North America and in Europe, uh, to the changes that there have been so far. And bearing any unforeseen change, which could happen, uh, we expect that this is, this is actually going to continue. And, and a real recession uh, is, is not something that we plan as being our, our base case.